Sense and Beyond. We open the spiritual world to the world. I'm your host, Christina Andronopoulos. And I'm Catherine Glass. And we have such an exciting show tonight, don't we? Always. Yes, as I usual. Know. <laughs> we have a great guest, Diane DiPietro. Yep. And now what, she, what she's all about is, first of all, a friend of a friend reached out to us, and mm -hmm. we, we're so glad because she has a metaphysical store right here in Athol. And she also is very gifted in so many different Modalities. Modalities, yeah. that's yeah. the correct word. She's a Thank palm you. reader um, and a healer. Right. Knows about she does energy spells. work. She yeah. works with spells. So we're going to talk about diff all these different She's modalities. She's demystify all of that woo-woo stuff that goes around witchcraft. Yeah, please. I know. <laughs> Enough. But anyway. And, and then we have all her goodies here, and I just want to play. Yes, yeah. we do. We will, we will play. <laughs> okay. We will play. In fairy, in fairy land. Yeah. Fairy land. <laughs> but then also we have a lucky viewer who reached mm -hmm. out to us, and anybody can, at readings at sixcentsandbeyond.com. Mm -hmm. And our lucky viewer, her name is Michelle C., and she's going to come on with you right here That's right. and have an on-air reading. Yep. That's great. Yeah. And then, of course, we'll have our psychic tips, which is one of our favorite things to do. And our psychic challenge. Yes. So you, and hopefully we'll all learn together on how to fine tune our, our intuition. Absolutely. With that, right? That's the whole point of the show. And in psychic tips today, we're going to talk about how to she, um, clear your space around you. We've talked about how to yep. protect your own energy field. And today in psychic tips, I think we're going to cover your environment, your house, your room, clearing the energy like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because great. you can. That's Absolutely. the point. We can all be proactive and do that, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And so we couldn't do this without our sponsors, Julio's Liquors, right in Westboro. And they have a great radio program. Did you know they have a radio program called The Liquors Talking? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know that. <laughs> yes, they do. And it's on every Saturday, 10 to 12. You can hear it's 50,000 watts on WCRN radio, AM 830. And we thank them for supporting we us. We need a wine sponsor because I just came back from Italy. And oh my God, the wine, the vineyards, so beautiful. Anyway, let's get a wine store too. Sure. <laughs> sure. Hey, any wine store, would you like to help support local television? This yeah. is really great. And also Healing Essence Centers. That's right. With your Healing wonderful Essence. husband and you have yep. this beautiful center. Concord, Massachusetts. Yes, yep. absolutely. And then, of course, you have to look like a celebrity and... Which, who, who else to do it but Christian at Salon 647. So I think we should just go right into our show. Yes, right, yes, let's go. I can't All right, wait. So don't go away. Don't just go come, away. Over, come over with us now. <laughs> Diane, how are Hi. you? I'm Hi, good. Diane. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. Welcome. That's great. Now, this is so exciting. You have a metaphysical store. I've always loved metaphysical stores. Wherever I've been, New York, Boston, little towns. Lilydale. Lilydale. Everywhere. Whenever there's a medical physical store, metaphysical store, it always pulls me in. Mm -hmm. Is that by yeah. accident? I would say no. <laughs> I would say you're drawn to all the energy of everything that's in there. It's something that you're open to, and I would say it's more like going home than anything Absolutely. else. Absolutely. <laughs> that's a great way to describe it. it Certainly is. how it feels for me. It does. So tell us a little bit about how you opened up a metaphysical store and what you do. What, what do you call yourself? I, well, I do call myself a witch. I do call myself a witch, and um, I don't find it um, scary or incredibly mysterious. Maybe it's because it's something that I do naturally. Mm -hmm. I think that being open to this and using your energy to help other people discover theirs and to help them heal themselves and whatever they need, I think that we, any of us, that you would be a witch or you would be a healer. It's all the same thing to me. Absolutely. It really is. It just got a bad rap. Witchcraft yeah, that's, that's is, the about, point. is about being in harmony with nature and yeah, the really natural is. rhythm of nature. Right. It really is. Yeah. It really is. That's, that's true. And you're right. And whenever um, a witch is depicted, it's always the wicked witch of the West or the North, whichever mm -hmm. part of the hemisphere it's come from. But, but tell us how you got into witchcraft or being a witch. Curiosity. Curiosity. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was trying to find my faith and where I belonged. And I just, you know, I tried a diff bunch of different places, a different different uh, modalities, churches, whatever, and I, I wasn't comfortable. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ended up uh, stumbling into someone who was about to teach a class and said, oh, you should take this class. And I said, okay. And that was it. I knew I was home. I knew that this was where I was supposed to be. I mm -hmm. knew it just sang with me. So mm -hmm. I just, I knew this was where I was supposed to be. And I, I teach it. I live it. 
Um, do you I, work with um, herb, herbs and I do. I work with herbs, and... candles, um, stones, mm -hmm. anything I get my hands on. It's deep-focused <laughs> prayer work, really, It really isn't is. It, it really is. It's intent. Is that intent. what spell work exactly. is? But you knew you were gifted from a, as being a little girl, is what you shared yeah. with us. So I just didn't know that's what it was called because everybody was so startled by it. But yeah, I used to see, you know, entities and spirits and, and mm -hmm. whatever else. I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know what it was about. Many and you shared a story with us that you were a, yeah, a little well, girl. When I was little, my great aunt, who had been very, very ill, walked through the garage door and said, I, I'm okay now, honey. Tell your mom I'm okay. I, I'm, I'm not in pain anymore. And I said, okay, and <laughs> told her. And she didn't receive it very well. But, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, um, yeah, it's just, it's something that's all, has, had always been there. And I tried to shut it down for a while. But So I want to interject one mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Parents out there, when your young psychic children come mm. to you and tell you a story about a spirit or a grandpa they're talking to, Please try to just listen and inquire and ask questions of them because then you can nurture it and not squash it. It's not evil or bad or wrong. It's actually a very natural propensity that every human being has yes. and children have it very, very acutely raw and, and beautiful and pure and mm. um, it, yeah. it won't hurt them to communicate right. with their loved ones. So just ask questions. You don't have to aggrandize it, but you right. don't squash it. Yeah. You, yeah, you make a child very afraid of it too. Yeah, because you do. they think there's something wrong with them. Right. I mean, I used to have, um, and I still do, but I used to have spirits talking to me, mm -hmm. and I'd be afraid to tell anybody. Mm -hmm. In fact, I learned I used to have severe migraine headaches when I was very little, and I couldn't tell anybody about it because I didn't know how to describe it. Mm -hmm. But many times I'd get that loss of peripheral vision, right. the bl blurriness, mm -hmm. and the spots. Mm -hmm. And I would pull myself out of myself so I wouldn't feel the pain right. to guide myself because I couldn't see. Right. And so many times I'd catch myself going, not catching myself, guide myself to go to school, pulling wow. myself out of my body to mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't tell anybody about it until one day in my teenage years I had to do a study on meningitis and migraine was right in front of there and I learned, oh, I've had migraines for the first time and so if I could have talked to my parents about it mm -hmm. and yeah. they were very intuitive so I could have shared it with them but I didn't feel comfortable because the world didn't make it comfortable. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah. that's how you intuitively dealt with the pain. I pulled of the myself migraine. out of my body. Yeah. And and then that's I became amazing. really good at it. once mm -hmm. I knew I could do that, I could yeah. astral project. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remote viewing. Lie, sister. Fly. I can look in your closet if I want, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> there might be too many skeletons. <laughs> we have but, a skeleton here. We do. Yes. So let's go over, we could do the whole show on this, but let's go over <laughs> some of the items you picked from your, your store in Athol. What's the name of the store? Our name uh, of our store is Tintagel Skate. It's on uh, Main Street at 505 Main Street in Athol. And we have everything everything. Wow. We have the largest tumbled stone collection um, in New England. I think I can boast that. I haven't seen another one bigger. We have tarot cards, we have books, we have spell work and healing work, and we have um, statues and all kinds of uh, other stones and how long have you had the store? Again? Almost two years. Wow. December 2nd. Congratulations. How's it doing? Entrepreneur. It's doing well. Good. It's doing well. Well, we have to all come and visit it. We didn't Absolutely. get a chance yet to visit it, but we will. Oh, I Thank love you. that. Do you have readers in your store? I do a psychic fair now and again, so mm -hmm. we'll do one in October. We'll do one um, the mm -hmm. last weekend of October, and we'll have a, we have a tea leaf reader and another oh, uh, tarot reader and whatnot, so it's a lot of fun, yeah. We're going to do a psychic gallery where Catherine's going to come out and read the crowd. Mm -hmm. And what would be nice is maybe have a little table set up with all different, you know, I call them artifacts and, mm -hmm. and items sure. too. That would be great. Sure. So let's, let's touch upon what you brought today. Okay. Uh, well, I brought a representation of the palm. Mm -hmm. I brought a smudge bundle for you. Right. We're going to uh, do psychic it. tips on using a smudge stick. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll kind of let this go for now because the whole we're going to do a whole right. segment on it. But it's amazing. Okay. I brought a few examples of tarot cards. Uh, I bought our friend Peter, who is a, a piece of pitrosite. Uh, this is an ocean jasper crystal ball. These are some of our tumbled stones: garnet, amethyst, malachite. These are our little friends, the furry bones. There are 43 different ones. They're just all kinds of fun. Um, <laughs> I've got an amethyst geode over there wow. and a piece of mukite jasper. That's my favorite. Me yeah, too. I love it. Touch, oh, when you touch it, the energy yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. 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 I have so many different crystal collections from all over mm -hmm. the world. I just love crystals. Mm -hmm. I bet you can do a whole show on just crystals. Easily. And we've got <laughs> steampunk tarot, yeah. which I think is so Steam cool. Steampunk? <laughs> steampunk. It's a lot of fun. And we have Shadowscape, which is kind of fairy-ish. And then the Halloween Tarot. Halloween Tarot. Oh, that's, that's great. Very cool. Which is coming up. 
Yeah. Yeah. And you're so gonna read, you're gonna are you gonna, you're read gonna do a little read. So why don't you describe um, your gift is palm reading as well. Mm -hmm. So why don't you describe look at your palm and she's going to go into like the characteristics of a palm. So Okay, so you have most people have four, four major lines basically. You would have the lifeline which starts at the base of your palm mm -hmm. and goes around your thumb into the crease here. Some of them are further out. Um, they're all different shapes and sometimes you may have multiple or shadow lines underneath that represent different things. Um, then there is the headline which comes from the crease mm -hmm. and goes across your to your pinky. Some mm -hmm. of them are longer, mm -hmm. some of them are shorter, some of them are forked, but it, it'll start here and it'll go different directions depending. Then the heart line starts further up across the pinky and goes just underneath the pads mm -hmm. or the mounts of your hand. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they curve up or they curve down or they're shorter. So, but that's about where it starts. Um, most people have a fate line, which is just towards the pinky from the mm -hmm. lifeline coming up the hand. Some of them, uh, some people that have done a lot of different types of things in life will have all kinds of little like webbing down here and then finally a line when they choose something they want to be. Uh -huh. wow, so that'll that's come great. out of there. So you, you said something like this is like rebooting your computer, your hard drive and yeah. saving, saving. Yeah, it's oh, like if you great. hit save, this writes the story in your palm basically. Okay, she's just for few seconds mm -hmm. she's we love demonstrations so you're actually going to read my palm okay and this so is the first time that glasses. I've met her so this will be <laughs> so, so this would be so your your lifeline goes way out in the middle of your palm so you will definitely do almost anything once just because you're a very curious person <laughs> it's what you like it's to true. do um, you've had a, you've had a couple of near-death experiences Whoa. those are in here um, you've got you know you used to stress out a lot I, used, I do read both hands past and present. So you used to stress out a lot and you do have life stresses but you deal with it much better than you ever did and you just don't sweat it anymore. You have a lot of psychic ability in here, you have mm -hmm. some nice travel lines in here. Um, the fact that your headline is very close to your lifeline says you're very close to your family. Mm -hmm. The fact that it's very long says you're a very smart lady. Mm -hmm. um, heart line <laughs> here, <laughs> heart line here curves up. You're optimistic and will give people a chance when you first meet them. You're also a bit of a romantic but not unrealistic. Um, a lot of writer lines in here. You have a good right. sense of humor. Um, you have a good sense of family, and you communicate really well. Thank you, boy. That's great. Good thing you didn't get into really deep stuff because <laughs> we don't. We only want to share with you. Thank you so much. This was great. The demonstration. There's so much more to do. And then, as you're speaking, as you were speaking, your information was coming up. Diane, anybody can get in touch with yeah, you. Yeah, go right. check out Excellent. Diane's store. Thank you. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. It sounds like a blast. I'm definitely coming to see you. Okay. <laughs> so before we go, we're doing a psychic challenge. Okay. okay so okay. everybody, tune in. Tune in. Catherine, we took some of um, Diane's. Uh, products from her store item. Now these are malachite, they're green. We got this little guy right here. And this one's the amethyst. And we have this little guy right here. And this one you called it the garnet. garnet. Mm -hmm. And we've got this little. Now Catherine, just a little while ago, Sending just it out. picked something. Sending so it out she's to gonna you. tell you what she picked. So did she pick the green malachite? Did she pick the amethyst? Or did she pick the darker color garnet? Tune in. And then after the psychic, the reading, on-air reading, we will come back with the answer, all right? So don't go away. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back to Sixth Sense and Beyond, and this is the part of the show where I give um, a free reading to a wonderful, willing volunteer, and today's volunteer is Michelle. So hi, Michelle. Hello, thank you. Catherine. Thank you so much for offering yourself to us. Thank you. Um, uh, so I'm just going to Let's begin. make a yes. soul connection. Soul to soul connection. Okay. We have about five, six minutes. Okay. All right. So the first thing that I'm very aware of, Michelle, is that you're a highly, highly sensitive person. Um, you have a lot of sensitivity and also uh, bordering on little anxiety. Um, and you're also uh, quite giving. You have a huge heart, a very sensitive heart, and I would say love animals, um, and always can feel for the underdog or the one that's suffering. Mm -hmm. um, you would benefit greatly from um, support around healing of your energy field um, because you do well when you have um, I mean who doesn't really but you specifically we're talking about right now when you feel that there is love and support around you that's solid and strong some people like to be independent and push away and do their own thing but you mm -hmm. really uh, blossom around the bosom of family and friendship and love 
Um, once that support is in place with you, mm -hmm. uh, Spirit is telling me that you will then have a stronger um, foundation beneath you from which to launch more fully into your life, into your purpose in life and your power. I feel mm. that the first part of your life has been spent internal, more working out and um, grappling, if you will, with some of your um, emotional storms. Mm. And, um, and there's a tendency, I feel that that's kind of worn out. I think that you've gone around and around quite a bit and your spirit is really encouraging you. It's time, it's time, Michelle, let's go, let's move, let's go forward. But there's an old story that you're telling yourself uh, that really doesn't have to be true anymore. And, and from this point forward um, in your life, it's, it's time to really step up and step in and, and show up. Fear is a doorway or a window, it's not a wall. Okay. So we may feel fear, but it doesn't mean we can't walk through. It's not always pleasant, but when you walk through to the other side of your fears and you push through that um, with faith, then you get the blessing of an exciting um, feeling that you're living your life on purpose mm -hmm. for what you came to do. I feel that you are here to um, help others. Um, you have healing ability. I feel it's in your hands um, and in your heart. So there are many options options you could follow in your life. I don't know what you do um, for work, but I know that there's a calling from your higher self to you in this lifetime specifically to heal yourself and thus share that with others. Oh, good, yes. So what Most is your definitely. question as that relates to what I've said? Is there? Well, I'm, I'm wondering how I can get unstuck from a situation that I'm in mm -hmm. and like you said, keep going around and around and around like the same old is this situation Story. specific or is it a mindset? It's both. It's really both. Okay, and what is the specific situation? The specific situation is that I am in a relationship mm -hmm. that I don't want to be in, but I feel stuck in it. I feel mm -hmm. like I have to be there. Okay, so there's the fear we were talking about. Yes. Um, because really, no one is going to hand you a permission slip to leave that relationship. You have right. to write that permission slip for yourself and you can call in help from your spirit guides and from the divine to give you the strength to do that. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I recommend that you do, Michelle, is sit down in a quiet, um, safe space in your heart. Really open your heart mm -hmm. and write a letter to the significant other in the relationship that you want to get out of and write an unedited letter. I mean, don't, no, don't hold back. You okay. just speak everything you need to speak that you wouldn't say to their face. And you write this letter to him or her, okay. and, um, and then you get out everything that you're holding in your emotions about it. I don't wanna be in this relationship, I feel suffocated, whatever it is, you write it out, get it out, and then you burn it. You don't hand oh, them the letter, okay. you burn it. And that releases and clears a lot of the energy in your auric field that you're holding, which creates a magnetic field that keeps you in the relationship. When you start writing and burning, um, it's, it's, it's about changing the soul contract between you. We always have karmic lessons to learn with every soul that comes into our life, but sometimes the lesson has been completed, but we haven't realized it and we stay. So when you can make a conscious intention to change, rearrange, or break that soul contract, okay. it's very powerful. Oh, wow. So you write and burn a letter and then you write a new letter and you say, this is the new contract from now on, however you want it to be. We never see each other. This relationship is clean and healed and karmically free. Uh -huh. Or you can say, when we see each other, it's very civil and respectful, something like that. Um, so to answer your question in a psychic reader kind of way, yeah. yes, absolutely, you can get out of this relationship. You okay. need that support that I talked about yes. that, uh, under you. And I'm going to recommend when we go off the camera that you um, see some healers or a healer and um, have some sessions, energy healing sessions, um, counseling, spiritual counseling, just so that you can um, start to connect with your core essence again and remember and reawaken to who you really are, yeah. which is a strong, beautiful, powerful, divine, holy being created <laughs> by the divine. Exactly, thank you so much. You can totally heal, you really can. Oh, good. A lot good. of karmic <laughs> lessons are behind you. Thank you oh, for good. coming in. Oh, thank you so much. And thanks for tuning into our reading. Let's make a soul connection Soul to soul connection Welcome back and 
your reading, the on-air reading was just so spectacular. It was just great. Thank Every you. time I have the privilege of witnessing you doing a reading for someone, and all our viewers had the same privilege, mm. I just get, I'm so impressed because Michelle obviously needed some answers and you were able to tap into mm -hmm. some some of the, her needs in reference to that. Yeah. Yeah, I know it was just scratching it's, the surface. It's but a joy. It's really it, it, it is, does, and it isn't me. You know, it really comes through. It's me. true. It's I know it's great <laughs> uh, for all of us, yeah. really. Thank but you, anyway, Christina. we're we're back to doing psychic challenge. So for those no, tips, who, tips or challenge. No, let's do the challenge first. Okay, sorry. The answers now <laughs> because we're all helping to grow our intuition right. or evolve it even more. Yep. And so basically, what we did was Catherine picked one of these cute little items in the bowl. It was the green and malachite. It was the amethyst in the middle or the dark stone which is the granite and these little guys are just kind of protecting it. And she had picked this prior to us coming into the challenge. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't picked yet, you have a chance to pick which one she's going I'm to do. I'm going to send it right now. I'm right sending now. you the one. Okay. I'll see what you get. This is lucky. Yeah, this is great. Okay. So which one was it, Catherine? I chose malachite green. Okay, so if you pick the malachite green with this little guy, you are right on. And why don't you why don't you explain to them that if they pick that, what they should have been looking at or what well, they, would happen? Well, a couple of things um, with your psychic ability, it doesn't just come from you. You you can send telepathic back and forth. So I can send something, a thought to someone, and right. then they can open their psychic ability to receive it. Um, just the same way when you give a reading, you're giving information, right. but you can also send back and forth. You could send me a number, I could, you know, we could play ping pong, guessing each other's numbers. In fact, that's a fun game to do at home, you know, with your kids But when you're picking. But when you're picking, right. when you at home are tuning in, trying to tune into what I'm sending, um, just to remember to pay attention to what, 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 what drew you to that. It's, it's usually your first hit. Yep. As soon as you start doubting or ping ponging, well, no, maybe it's this, then you're in your mind, and that's the intellect, and that's not where clairvoyance comes from. Right. It comes from the brow, the, the third eye and the brow chakra and it comes right. from not being in the intellect. And we all have the opportunity to open up and get better at it. For example, if you like to play the piano, you can become a better piano player if you practice a little bit. Right. And this is what it's all about. And sometimes like you'll see if, if you were drawn to one of these, there's there's like a glow around it. Maybe not actual physical glow, but a glow. Right. All right, so uh, we need a quick psychic tip okay. because today so was a long show. Sometimes in life we have funky energy in our space, either in our home or a room in our home or our office or something like that. I want to give you a couple of quick techniques how to clear that. Right. First, first and st one of the strongest ways is called smudging. It's an ancient Native American uh, tradition mm -hmm. and we use what's called a smudge stick. There are a couple of kinds of smudge sticks. This is another one. This is beautiful. I believe this is white sage. That comes from California. This one is white sage and cedar combined and this one is called sweet grass. You light the end of it, it begins to smoke, you blow on it until mm. it makes a good smoke and you must always open your windows when you do this yep. because the dark energy goes out as the smoke clears. You can also smudge yourself like mm -hmm. this around your own auric field. Um, sweet grass is a little um, sweeter smell to it. Sage and cedar are a little more intense. Um, and um, it's a smoky way to clear, but it is very powerful and profound. If you don't like smoke, cut up some fresh lemons, get a bowl of water, a little salt in the water and fresh lemons, squeeze them, leave the lemons in the water, walk around like a priest in yeah, your house, yeah. sprinkling water throughout the rooms that yeah. you want to clear. And when I do this, I like to use um, a prayerful word like only God exists here now. Yes. There is only God. Yep. Or say the Our Father who art in heaven prayer or a right. mantra, you know, Om Namah Shivaya or Namaste right. or there is only light that's here now, something like that. And toning, also sound, is very cleansing. You can use bells to yep. clear the room or you can use your voice. You can make a tone with your voice and that will also clear that's energy. That's great. And all of us can do this. I mean, I, I've had smudge sticks for many, many years. It's really many, good after an argument. Yeah, and many of us, <laughs> oh, that, that's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> after you fight or have a bad yeah. scene, light a smudge stick and clear. But even the lemon with the water is so great. You just take it. And, mm -hmm. and I know we have the Greek Orthodox faith has in, incense, like uh, frankincense. That's right. And many times I just burn the That's frankincense. And frankincense and myrrh particularly. Okay. So we have to close. Okay. Thank so you fast. for our wonderful sponsors, <laughs> Julio's Liquors with Liquor Talking on Saturday mornings, 10 to 12, WCRN AM 830, 50,000 watts. So Everybody can hear it, even wow, you. Wow. Yeah. And Christian, thank you so much for uh, making us all look like celebrities and the Healing Essence Centers. In Concord. Yes. Yeah. And remember that believe in yourself, 
keep yourself open and all we do is we're helping answer your questions or answer some of the questions you, you may have for Six Cents and Beyond. If you want to do on-air reading, readings at sixcentsandbeyond.com and you may be a lucky winner to have an on-air reading with Catherine. Thanks for watching. Thank you and have, have a, a great time. Let's make a song.